Hi, my name's Sam Agrizovic and I'm founder and managing director of So Sales. And today I'm just going to do a short video to address four factors to consider when selecting your next technology sales career. Now I talk to a lot of candidates and the first thing that they always say to me when I ask them what they're wanting at their next role is progression. And I'm sorry, but to focus on progression and to look for progression is bull****. Instead, if you focus on these four factors, the progression in time will come if you're successful in the role. So the first factor to consider is the product or service that you're selling. Firstly, is it credible? Has it got a strong foothold in the marketplace? And have they got strong case studies that are underpinning the success of that product or that service? The second thing to consider is the sector or sectors that you're being asked to operate in. Are these buoyant sectors? You could have the best possible product, but if you're selling it into a sector where there's been budget restraints and cutbacks or legislation, then you're going to find it very difficult. And the thing to consider with both product and sector are any political or economical factors which could provide either an opportunity to you or a threat. So things like the amount of cyber breaches that we're seeing currently or things like GDPR. Does that make it easier to sell your product or harder? The third thing which people often mistake and forget about is what I call land grab. So again, you could have the best product, you could be selling into the most buoyant sectors, but if you're joining a business which is saturated with loads of really great salespeople, how easy is it going to be for you to hit your number and hit your mark? It's hard enough selling against all the competitors we've got out there in the marketplace without having to worry internally about fighting over leads. And the fourth thing to consider is the sales leader. It's, it's a well-trodden path and a, and a, a well-used phrase that people join businesses and leave managers. And it is so because it's true. So can you see yourself working with that individual? Have they got a good track record of developing talent? And are they the sort of person that you want to turn up to work and work with every single day? So there are four factors that I would consider and I would argue if you pick correctly and you get ticks in all of those four boxes, it'll allow you to do your job and then progression and high earning potential will come off the back of it. Thank you very much for listening. See you again soon.